comes to an end, there's still time to throw one last big backyard bash. You have the food, the decor, and the guest list is all in place, but it wouldn't be a party without Labor Day libations. Joining us now with cocktail recipes to step up your next gathering is lifestyle and entertaining expert, Paul Zahn. Paul, thanks for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Thanks for having me. I'm ready to get this party started. Me Labor Day. Me too. Quite literally, I'm excited yes. to talk about these libations for Labor Day. What do you have first? What do I have first? Well, we're doing a trip around the world with a bunch of different spirits and wines and everything like that. So we have a red, white, and blue rum cocktail. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this glass. We have some strawberries in here, and we are going to muddle those up, and then we're adding in some lime juice like Ooh. so. Why muddling? Why do we muddle the strawberries? We're, we're muddling the strawberries because they're going to be the red to our red, white, and blue. Ooh, Got okay. It? okay. Need the red for yes. the red, white, and blue. And we're going to take an ice mixing tin and we are going to add in two ounces of pineapple juice. Then we're adding in two ounces of organic coconut milk with coconut water. And then we're going to Trinidad and Tobago for Ooh. some Angostura 1919 rum. So the house of Angostura has been making rum for 200 years. This is an absolutely delicious rum that's perfect for all of your cocktails. And this is so delicious you can just sip it on the rocks. We're doing an ounce and a half of that. Like so, so very tropical. Yes, very tropical. And you see how that's got that nice caramel coloring to yes. it. So that's going to really lend into the flavor profile of this delicious libation. Now so you do want to use a brown rum for this? Uh, you can use a brown one. I like this one. This is one of my favorites, so I use that. You could use a silver if you have that, but this is my go-to because it's got that wonderful caramel mm -hmm. and uh, like toasted almond that's going to go really well with uh, coconut and everything yeah. like that. Give it a little up. shake. Give that a little shake. And then we are going to, actually, we're going to add the ice into this. More ice. And now we are going to... Pour this in there like so. Oh, look at that. So there's the red, there's the white, and then we have some blue carousel, which is a blue liqueur that is super tropical. We're gonna take a bar spoon and we are going to slowly drizzle this over. Oh, I like that little trick that you have. Ooh, so, a little. <laughs> <laughs> so it's okay, we like messes over here. Yes. So we take just a little bit and you and you use the bar spoon and spill it over so it kind of exactly. trickles down. So you get that red, white, and blue situation. Oh, gorgeous. Voila. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, well, I taste this one. Let's move on to it, our next one. Yes, so next up, you know, a lot of people aren't mixologists, but they want those craft cocktails. We're going over to Amsterdam. Delicious, by the That's way. good, right? Mm -hmm. With some bowls ready to enjoy cocktails. Now, I'm going to put you to work. So what these okay. are, these are craft cocktails that are already prepared, and they come in two different sizes. Um, the vial up top is this two one. cocktails, and the one at the bottom is like three or four cocktails. So if you're having oh. a Labor Day, you know, soiree, you can just throw these into a cooler with some ice, yeah. and your guests can help themselves. So. Oh. Okay. We have an espresso martini, we have a red light Negroni, a very mm -hmm. old fashioned, and a blue margarita. So you're gonna make the espresso martini. So all you do is give that bowl's cocktails a shake. So this one I'm yep. gonna shake Just it a little it bit. A shake. And this is a good way if you uh, wanna stay behind the bar all Ex night. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Your guests can do the work. Okay, now you're so just we gonna open it. that up. Okay. And now you're going to pour it into a martini glass. And these are chilled, so it's going to have that nice chilled situation. Um, and this 100% natural flavors, mm -hmm. absolutely delicious. It's that perfect espresso martini without all the work and without all the mixers. So bowls ready to enjoy are absolutely delicious. Ooh. And then we have a fun little garnish. I'll grab that. This one is super, super awesome. I love how they come in the little containers. And then voila, a Ooh. sweet treat as a garnish. So if you're doing a dinner party this Labor Day weekend, you can just, this is dessert. Dessert made easy with bowls ready to enjoy cocktails. And it goes perfectly because like you said, this one is it has a little bit more of a coffee yes. taste to it. So I'm going to yes. take a sip now. We have the blue light, I mean the red light Negroni. If people want a Negroni, what do you Ooh, think? Oh my good, gosh. Right? It is it's a pretty sweet, but not too sweet. Yeah. So you're right. It goes really well with a little bit of a dessert. So you're a master mixologist now. See how easy that was? So easy. <laughs> I didn't even have to wait in line at the bar. <laughs> okay, what's our final one? Next up, we are going over to Mexico to create a Paloma with some Partida tequila. So Partida is the highest rated tequila out there. It's an authentic tequila, 100% mm -hmm. blue Weber agave. So it's really got going to have that great flavor profile. A lot of people add, or a lot of tequilas add additives and sugars and like that. Yeah. Stuff like that, not this. And we're going to work with the Reposado, which is aged in ex bourbon casts. How did you so, know I'm a tequila fan? I, 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 I could see your tequila eyes. I could see your tequila <laughs> eyes. So the tequila eyes, they light up. <laughs> we are doing one and a half ounces of 
the partita reposado. Mm -hmm. And then we are just going to top it with some Q sparkling grapefruit. So Q is, we want an elevated cocktail. So Q is an elevated mixer. So we're gonna just pour that in there. It's super easy. You can put a little salt in there if you want. Mm -hmm. And then you simply just put on the tropical top for the tropical drink. And voila, you have the perfect tropical Paloma. Oh my gosh, so. and this also keeps the bugs out. I like this yes. little jar because I could be out in the backyard, I could be chilling, exactly. and boom, look, exactly. I have my drink. Let me, okay, let me taste take, this take one, everybody. Take, this take is a our taste final. of that. Take one more taste. And this is sort of like the benchmark for tequilas, craft tequilas mm. and everything like that, so I hope I hope it wins with Miss Tequila over this here. This one is delicious, good, and right? you know what is amazing? The, the sparkling grapefruit juice, perfect yes, touch with the tequila. Florida grapefruit, so it's like got that premium, delicious. It's got the little sparkle to it. Yes. So, perfect. Thank you so much, Paul. We are so happy that you joined us again here on Live in the Bay for all of our libations. Yes, actually, we have one more. We have one If that's one okay, more? I have a oh surprise gosh, one. Okay. So a we are one. doing a delicious watermelon spritz. So I just muddled up some orange liqueur in here, some watermelon, and then we're topping it. I said it's a trip around the world. We were talking about Italy before. We're gonna top it with some Riondo Prosecco. So this is from the Veneto region okay. of um, Italy, and it is perfect for steaks, it's perfect for charcuterie, but it's also great for spritzes, like this wonderful watermelon spritz. Let's close out the summer with a delicious spritz. Yes. Ooh, I love that sound. Voila. That's my favorite sound, the popping of the champagne. Yes. And you mix, I like surprises. You surprised yes. me here with a little last I one. I like that. threw one last one in there. Look at all the bubbles bubbling yeah. up with the watermelon. And this is a dry Prosecco, which I love because some of them can be really sweet, but the Riondo is perfect for toasting everything. Here, how about you toast with okay. this? Well, Let's I do a switch of that one, but hey. how about a quick toast. little a little toast? Ooh, okay. Cheers all to right, Labor Day. Cheers. Yep. Refreshing. The fruit is the per refreshing is the perfect word. Yes. Refreshing. Amazing. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Paul, for giving us all of these insights into beautiful libations we can make for Labor Day. Cheers to Labor Day. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. For more great cocktail recipes from Paul, we'll have a link on our website and to connect at liveinthebay.tv. Stay right here. After the break, we'll have a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show. Live in the Bay will be back in 60 seconds.